So I'm here with Scarlett Royal, who is at Liverpool John Moores University in the UK. We're at the Beacon 2023 Astrobiology Conference on the island, the beautiful island of La Palma, a volcanic island, uh, just in the Canary Islands, and about what, 300 kilometers off the coast of southwest Morocco, I would say, I, and just as a crow flies, perhaps. We've been discussing a paper that uh, Scarlett has just given on galactic dynamics and how this will help us better understand how to look for extrasolar Earth-like planets. And what you were telling me just now, Scarlett, is that we should be thankful for the planet that we have. Oh, and definitely. why is that? Um, well, so when um, us uh, astrobiologists or exoplanet scientists talk about habitability, what we usually mean is whether a planet is, uh, could have liquid water on it, so whether it's cool enough to have liquid water but not too cold to, have, uh, to be covered in ice, and whether it has an atmosphere, um, and a few other quite basic criteria. But we're not talking about whether it looks this like lush and verdant and whether it has this uh, much of a diversity of species. Um, you so, said there were something like 10,000 species yeah. of grass. Yeah, 10,000 species of grass and 10,000 species of bird on the Earth. Uh, so we definitely should be looking after it, um, even though it is very exciting to look for uh, life on other planets and it tells us more about where we come from and uh, origin of life on Earth. And j from just finishing your, this is a, uh, you're, you're just finishing your doctoral thesis as, as an astrophysicist, is that correct? Uh, I've got a couple of years left. A couple of yeah. years left. Uh, but what you've learned thus far in the paper you just presented this morning or this afternoon is that you think that our planetary system is pretty rare. Um, yeah, so what I'm looking at is um, how um, galactic dynamics or um, a planetary systems, host stars, um, neighbors, how they affect um, planetary uh, properties. And um, we do, so we know that we live in a um, system that's in quite a calm region of space. Um, a calm region of the galaxy. Right? Calm region of the galaxy, yes. Um, whereas we find that um, planets around stars that are in a region of the galaxy that have had a lot more perturbations, like, um, like uh, other galaxies flying nearby them at one point. Um, we find that those systems um, tend to have uh, fewer planets in them and also that um, a lot of those systems have hot Jupiters in them, which could indicate that um, planets are being sent inwards. And for example, it could be that rocky planets are sent into their sun and burnt up or thrown out of their system. So, so we're, not we're, good news for habitability. So we're quite uh, lucky and we should be thankful for the planet we have. Yes, definitely, yeah. Thank you so much, Scarlett. Thank you for talking with me.